everyone. Uh, <coughs> this is Victor Zwegen 360, and like today, like I'm making like another uh, little lesson about uh, Victim Fusion 2.5, about uh, how to break objects in the uh, uh, basically this engine using the physics. So let's uh, go uh, to our like, newly created frame uh, in the new application. Uh, as always, if you're wondering, like what, are, like for these dots uh, in the play area, these are just the grid, like uh, that I used to toggle with this button here. It's just for the ease. So first, let's create our uh, physics engine, which is found in the physics section here. So we create it. So now all our actives can. Um, like few like predefined physics movements. So now we insert the other object active and uh, stretch it a bit. Let's make like a little uh, a table top, shall I say? <laughs> so yeah, choose this uh, filling and the table color should be brown, I guess. Yeah. Now let's switch to the pencil and uh, the black color and have like a bit of texture in the table, make it a bit uh, old, the wooden texture. <laughs> Click OK. There we have it. Quick and nice. Now what we need to do is uh, obviously rename it to the table top. And now what we do is um, <coughs> create a leg <coughs> for the table. Basically, the parts that are going like uh, break off from each other. This is going to be the uh, table top and the two legs. So <coughs> I'll do one leg and then just simply copy it over. So oh, wrong color. <coughs> My bad. So select the brown, color it in. Or actually, uh, select slightly brighter uh, brown so that we can distinguish what is what. Uh, without any texture here, click OK. And uh, make it a bit thinner, maybe. Yep. So now, what are we going to do? We're going to give it the physics uh, movement static. Physics static movement. OK, here we know about the hotspot. Do the same for the leg. <laughs> okay, and now we're going. Actually, we're not going to create another leg yet. We are going to clone it over from this one after we're finished uh, making its properties. So, the properties will need to be uh, basically the joint will have a type of revolute joint, and uh, the joint name will be. Uh, leg or rather table leg and he's going to be joining with the object this one table top table top and now uh, the important thing is to have it uh, with the angle uh, slight difference because at the moment uh, if the upper like angle is uh, um, if the upper angle is lower than the lower angle, then obviously it can go whichever direction, like spin all 180 degrees. And um, well, like we don't really want that, so we'll set leave this at one, and this one will be let's just leave it at two. Yeah, nice and simple. So now what we need to do is change uh, the action point because uh, we need the hotspot for the physics to stay at the center of the uh, <coughs> table and uh, obviously for the action point uh, we'll need it at the top to attach to the top of the table if that makes sense so now we need to change the anchor type from the action point because 
the action point is at the top and hotspot is at the bottom we don't want it attached uh, on here because it will spin around itself now it will actually uh, be attached here anyway so now we have our leg ready we need to clone it not in rows but in columns click OK and attach it somewhere here yeah. I did uh, on purpose so that uh, they're like a bit separate from each other uh, like this one is a bit low this one's a bit higher so that we can tell which one is which so I put this one a bit uh, higher than this one in the Y vertices now we select this one check all the uh, <coughs> values so this is also anchored from action point low angle 1 upper angle 2 so it should be a bit wobbling from side to side but not too much now yeah let's test it it should fall right through the um, floor yeah and in order for us uh, to have it fall and actually collide with the floor we need to do a um, collision uh, um, detection for the each one of those now actually if you think uh, well it's going to be a bit too much events going through all these objects to create like <coughs> collision event for each one of these how about we join these all objects into one group and then apply event to that group so if we go to events tab when having selected all of these three objects go to qualifiers this is how you create a group create edit uh, I mean click edit and uh, then click add and we're gonna add something like I don't know any group will do is just something that will uh, fit our situation yeah breakable the object is gonna be breakable into all these objects so yeah now we can apply the events to all three uh, objects in the group so new condition <laughs> and we test the position of any breakable object so go to position test position if it reaches the bottom left top or right click OK then the movement of the breakable object is gonna stop obviously because uh, it will collide with that side of the screen uh, the play area rather now uh, we want to test that it actually works we just run the application and as we can see it's obeying the laws of physics already <coughs> when colliding now what we want to do is have a bit of control of the table so let's do a quick uh, four button control while the key is being pressed uh, W copy it down here down here down here have four directions like uh, A S by the way I'm changing it by just double clicking the event and it gives me an option to redefine the clicked button so double click here and press D it changes from W to D and now what we're gonna do is uh, give it a force impulse each time um, we have one of these buttons pressed so each time uh, W is pressed all the objects will receive a uh, physics uh, instruction so we go to physics and apply impulse here so when we press W it's going to be uh, force upwards so is going to be at 90 degrees but for now we just enter the strength of impulse let's just put the weakest one at the moment one and the angle as I said will be 90 <coughs> now copy like drag and uh, uh, unclick the mouse for all of these ones and uh, now that we have all four events let's just change the angle so we leave the impulse at one uh, A, when we press A we want it to go left so it's going to be 180 degrees because 0 degrees is on the right remember uh, okay 
Now edit this one, leave one as the force of impulse and make this one 270 because it's going to go down. Oh, not typing. Come on, select it properly. Oh. Yeah, okay, so 270. <laughs> Apologies for that. And this one will be exactly with the same strength of impulse. It will be at zero because it will face to the right. <coughs> so let's test it out. So now I'm pressing W. It lifts the table up. As I release it falls down again. When I press A, it moves the table slightly to the left. Well, it should do. Not sure why it doesn't. <laughs> no. Doesn't seem to work. Well, when I press D, it seems to push it to the right. Okay, so let's see what's going on with A. Ah, it's still left at 90 degrees because apparently I didn't uh, actually type it in. I need to test, uh, actually check with my eyes if it's typing or not. 180. Okay. Yep. Let's test and run it now. So now I press left, it goes to the left. I press right, it goes to the right. I press up, it goes up. I press down, it falls down faster. So, um, yeah, let's try and um, uh, increase um, each impulse a bit more so that it goes around a bit faster. So, we we'll press 3 here, uh, 3 here, okay, we're just changing the strength uh, of the impulse. So, 3 again, and 3 here. Okay, so now we test and run it. Left, right, up, down. As you can see, the legs are uh, bending a little bit, but uh, only to a certain point, because uh, remember we put the boundaries of one and two degrees, so it's going not very far, unless we go with real strength, like uh, real fast, then the legs will bend a bit more but not too much. So yeah, we have a little moving table. Now, how do we actually make it to break? Uh, is that is, supposedly, we need an event that when something happens with enough force applied to it, uh, to the table, then it breaks. So uh, let's say when it leaves the play area and it has enough speed, so when it is reaching the side of the screen, so we test position again and insert another event uh, that when the speed of this breakable object that leaves the play area has a movement speed of uh, say 190 uh, pixels something uh, obviously greater or equal because uh, if it's higher than that it will also uh, be breaking because we want it to break if it's 190 or over we click OK then uh, what we need to do that's the tricky bit we need to break the joints between uh, the tabletop that obviously doesn't have any joints in its movement because uh, it's like well, has the legs attached to it but uh, the actual joint name is the same one that is with the leg. So it's called, in our case, table leg. It says in the joint name. The same one happens with this one, table leg. So we only need to break one joint. And that is under the physics engine column, joints, revolute joints. Or um, if you want to destroy, it, in our case, actually, we want to destroy it altogether. So we just go to destroy joint and type in the name. This one, table leg. So table leg. 
exactly the same capitals and lower cases as uh, we used in the joint name. So let's check it out. So far, it's not breaking even though it reaches the side. Now if it accelerates enough, uh, hopefully it will reach enough speed to actually break the table. Let's monitor it through debugger. Go to active objects and see the table top for instance. Uh, movement and check, keep an eye on the speed value. It doesn't quite go above Arunite. Oh no, it did it. It did it at some point, so now it's broken. All the joints are deactivated and now we're still like uh, pressing the buttons, but uh, the force is being applied to each one of them, but they are not uh, joint anymore. So, yeah, as you can see, the table is broken into pieces and it still uh, has its parts obeying the laws of physics. So yeah, as soon as it went over 190 uh, and hit the edge of the plane area, it destroyed the joint and therefore all the objects became separate uh, physics objects on their own. So I hope you find it helpful and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to uh, ask in the comment section, that's what it's for. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting to hear from you about your own games and creations. Victor's Wagon 360, see you next time.